in a good year, Jamaica can generate up to US $1 million from the export of fresh fruit. The records over the last two years have indicated that the figure hovers around 700,000 US. The reason for this, and I'm sure our exporters among us, and I must give recognition to Idol Brown and Edgar Stone, and Rita Simes, I don't know if she's here yet. But our cost of production for pumpkin is higher than that of our competitors from Costa Rica, Trinidad, and the Dominican Republic. I recall Rita Simes Hilton saying about two years ago that we need to identify and introduce varieties that are high yielding so that we can be more competitive. What was not known at the time was that we were already testing a number of cultivars imported from Brazil, UK, and Trinidad. All of them were shown to be unadaptable to our local conditions, being very susceptible to our various diseases, and yielded poorly. In those cases where yields were obtained, the fruits were unattractive and poor tasting. Utilizing the range of gene genetic pumpkin diversity available island-wide to develop high yielding, adaptable pumpkin cultivars that were uniformly shaped and possessing good culinary characteristics. We will introduce to you today, Borders Glow, a true breeding open pollinated cultivar. And we anticipate commercial quantities of these seeds will be available. Pumpkin is easy to grow. I will concede that. However, I will also tell you that it fails easily if the right management practices are not applied. Our research over the years has developed integrated crop management practices and we must include use of bees pollination and you will be presented with these techniques and technologies. I must mention at this point that our work has not been done in isolation and we have involved a number of farmers in our efforts and I recognize Leroy Delahaye Jamaican Chinese. <laughs> Mr. Patterson, I haven't seen him, but I think he's, he's to be slated here. He's from Linstead. Leroy is from St. Catherine. And we did some work as well in Smithfield in Westmoreland. We also must give recognition to those who have supported us out of pocket, providing us with materials. O.B. Johnson of St. Jago Farm Supply, and everybody should know O.B. Johnson. There are some big buildings helping to increase productivity of Jamaica and things like that and its slogans. We will continue to work with the farmers. And another point I must bear out is that over the years we have been doing research at borders. We have been plagued by a lot of money. Untimely rainfall. But the greatest deterrent to our research, not only with pumpkin, is those two-footed people who come over the fence and remove our produce. And that has been the most disheartening and debilitating factors, factor, which hamper our production and our productivity. Ladies and gentlemen, today we will present to you, as I said earlier, a number of techniques. At the end of the day, we want to present to you, just like what we did for the goats and we did for pepper, a package, a manual, which starts from land prep through planting to the cost of production. That when you have that, we can produce the best pumpkins in the world. I will also say to you that our efforts over the years has been targeted at production, but we must also embrace the whole aspect of nutritional and health benefits. 
pumpkin provides a good source of carbohydrates, starch, sugars, and excellent source of zinc and iron. <laughs> With regards to the health benefits, has been known to really frustrate problems. Used in Germany for children who have bedwetting problems, is in depression, and a host of other things. It's an excellent crop, considered lowly. But ladies and gentlemen, we start with the low and we go to the high. Our vision and our mission is to bring to you the latest technologies. And that has been our experience with pumpkin research. And we look forward to working many more years with you and with the farmers for a better Jamaica agriculture. Thank you very much, madam.